All right, guys, so here's a short one. Uh, I'm sitting under the hood of a 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's got the V8 5.3 engine, and the shop replaced the engine, but after they replaced the engine, the vehicle was a no start, so it would crank, but it wouldn't start. Uh, they hooked up the scan tool. They found two different codes. I can't remember the codes off the top of my head. I'm gonna put them on the screen right here. Anyways, both of these codes pertain to the fuel rail pressure sensor. Um, so they went ahead and took off the intake manifold so I could check it. Let me show you guys what I found. All right, so here we're looking at the 5.3 liter V8. And of course this engine, because it's a 2016, does have the GDI design. So this is a GDI fuel rail. And you can see this is the uh, high pressure fuel pump right here. But again, we had codes pertaining to the fuel rail pressure sensor, which is located right here. I have it disconnected. Now what I wanna show you guys real quick is I'm going to check the uh, 5 volt reference, which is this brown and red wire right here. And then I'm going to check the ground, which is this black and green wire right here. And let me show you what we have. All right, so I've got my power probe here. We're just gonna use it as a voltmeter. And I'm gonna go ahead and touch the 5 volt reference pin. You guys can see we actually have a ground on that wire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and touch what's supposed to be our ground. And you can see we're showing about 8.5 volts on that circuit so we definitely know we have a problem because where we should have a 5 volt reference we have a ground and where we should have a ground it's over 8 volts so anyways after checking the wiring diagram and back tracing it i found that on the wiring diagram it shows that before it connects to the main harness uh, this fuel rail pressure sensor wiring harness actually connects to this bulk harness there's actually two of them because there's a harness on this side of the fuel rail and a harness on this side and both of these connectors here connect uh, everything up here to the main wiring harness. But when I took a close look, take a look at this. So this right here, this brown and yellow wire at the corner, but when I flip it over to this side, you can see that we don't have anything connected in that cavity. Also, if you take a look at what's supposed to be our ground, which is this green and black wire right here, take a look on the other side, it connects to a yellow wire. Well, it didn't take long for me to figure out that these two connectors we're actually connected in reverse. So this connector goes to this harness over here and this connector goes to this harness over here. If you don't believe me, let me go ahead and disconnect these and show you how easy it is to swap them. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one. There we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this one. And then I'm going to swap them over. Again, you can see that this brown and yellow wire, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see that brown and yellow wire and we'll match it up to this harness over here that has our brown and yellow wire on this side and we can go ahead and connect them. There we go. Then we'll take the other side and connect it as well. Now that we have these connectors reversed, let's go ahead and go back to the fuel rail pressure sensor and check our five volt reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch the pin here. As you guys can see, there's our five volt reference. Now, while we're at it, just to make sure, let's go ahead and check our ground. You guys can see we have a good ground. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this connector back into the sensor, get the mechanic to go ahead and put this intake manifold back on, and let's see if this truck starts. All right, guys, so we got the intake manifold installed. I went ahead and I cleared the codes using my little scan tool here, the uh, Think Tool Pro. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing starts up. There you have it. We are back in business. 